Hi guys, so I watched this the Jesus video of their nanny coming with bang to their house and it reminded me of a lady that I had hired some times back. I had gotten this lady from a bureau and we checked everything. She had ID and that kind of thing. She was elderly. She was in her, I think in her mid 40s. So I left with the lady but she there was something about this lady. She didn't there was something that didn't sit well with me and I couldn't place my finger on whatever it was. I felt the lady, it, there was something strange about her, but I was desperate. I, I needed a house help, so I went with her to the house. So this lady, I respected her because of her age, but I still felt that I couldn't leave her with my babies. But I had to go to work. So this lady, whenever I could come back to the house, I could knock on the gate. I could ring the bell, but she couldn't open. So on this day, I had informed her to, to be with her phone because I did not have the key with me. So I told her to be alert and I left. But when I came back, this lady could not open the gate for me. I knocked I rang the bell, I tried calling her, her phone was switched off, but I could tell there was somebody in the house because I could see the lights, they were on. So, somehow I managed to enter, and when I entered is when I saw her peeping through the bedroom, her bedroom window to the gate. I felt so bad, but I asked her to live with me first thing in the morning. So we prepared in the morning, and as we were leaving, just as we got to the gate, I told her to... I something just told me to check her bags. Not that I suspected her of carrying anything that belonged to me, although she had, but I just felt that I needed to check her bags. This is something that I usually don't do. Even those who have been to my house before could. They can attest to this. I do not check their bags when they are coming in or when they are, they are leaving. But this lady taught me a really good lesson. When they are coming to my house, I have to inspect the bags. I have to know what you've come with. So we went back to the house. And when I checked, first thing I saw is the stuff that she had carried that belonged to me. I put my stuff aside and I got something else that looked so weird. Tabakuoga. <laughs> Uliambiwa na nani? Nani alikuambia ulipewa na nani? Mbali. So hizi mbili ni dawa? Kienyeji. Hii ni dawa kienyeji? Na hiyo ingine ni? Ni nini hiyo ingine? Juzi kwa mbili, ziko mara mbili. Si uniongelea shetan ni mbaya nataka tutoke. Hii hii ingine ni nini? Hii hii hapa. Yenye kwa socks ndio dawa. Na hii ingine ni nini? Na hii juu hauogi nayo hizi hizi si vitu zimefunguliwa hivi karibuni. Si unaona hata kufunguka ina, in, haifunguki? Eh? Si unaona hata kufunguka haifunguki na struggle kuifungua? Na mbona unasema ni ya kuoga nayo? Na hizi vitu zangu ulikuwa unabeba za nini? Ama siku umetoka, siku umeenda off, kuna nini yangu umebeba? Aya, sasa nataka unyeleza hizi ni nini? Hizi, hizi vitu ziko hapa, hizi, hizi mbili. Hii nyiko kwa socks, umefunga na umefunga sana, na hii ingine juusi dawa. Na kama ni dawa, niambie ni dawa za nini juusi zako? Za kuoka na, kwa na kama kwa mbili. Ulipewa na nani? Kwa kuchukuna. Nikuuliza ulipokuja nilikuuliza uko na shida yote ukasema tuko na allergy ya, ya piri ya I mean ya proteins. Eh, proteins. Na sasa juu hauzitumii kuoga ni za nini? Inaitwa aje? Inaitwa aje? Ni kienyeji. Eh, okay, ni kienyeji inaitwa aje? Ama ina jina? Hmm? Hizi ni nini? Alafu unajua nimekuuliza ume, umeshtuka sana. Huku jua nitazipata. 
Umeshtuka sana. Alafu ukanyamaza. Ume, nimekuuliza mara nyingi hapa kama umenyamaza. Simeshinda nikikuuliza. Simeshinda nikikuuliza hizi ni nini haongei. It looked so weird that um, I, I don't know how to explain this. It looked dirty. It was tied in two pieces of socks and yeah, it it was something so weird. So as you can see, I'm asking her what it is, but she couldn't explain. But after interrogating her for so long, she talked. She said it was some herbs, I don't know, some dawa for bathing because she had allergy. But this shit scared the hell out of me. I don't know what it is. I've never known to date, but it scared me to I, I thank God I had not eaten anything this lady had prepared. She could just cook her food and eat. And yeah, I leave in the morning. And when I come back in the evening, if I haven't eaten anything, I could cook whatever I wanted and eat. All in all, it's God who protects us. And it's always important to pray whenever you are hiring a new lady or whenever they are coming to your house. Because you never know. We have different kind of people coming from different backgrounds with weird beliefs. Some have very weird beliefs. And so it's always good to pray for them, pray for your kids, pray about everything. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. And you, if you have encountered such, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think about it. Thank you and bye.